on a roof a residential roof but it's a gravel roof so we're going to show you today how to re how to put a membrane over this uh, uh, tar and gravel we're not going to remove the gravel we're not removing the tar we're going to go over this this is unconventional method and that's how i do i do everything unconventional okay so this is how we're gonna we're gonna start my unconventional method is to put a fiberglass reinforced uh, asphalt coated lightweight base sheet over the stone let me explain you the principle of my method this paper i put straight directly over the stone and you can see Look, nothing, the stone doesn't come through. You see that? Even if one pebble would come through, it's okay. But look, it doesn't pierce through as people would think it would. 200 pounds and it doesn't come through. With a stone, it becomes an insulator. We trap some air underneath this, between the stone and this paper, you trap air. Uh, the, the moist, if there's any moist, any moist uh, trapped in here, doesn't matter how much, it will dissipate through the drippage. After we put the drippage here, it will go underneath and it will dissipate within a few days. The idea is the paper is to make it nice and smooth. A nine square, 900 square foot uh, roof. And this is what we paid for. Look at it. Uh, 1,000, almost 1,000, $2,000 at the end, okay? And we bought 10 rolls of uh, uh, Firestone APP 180 black. We bought um, five rolls of the JM base and five rolls of the uh, self-stick base. So, and then drip edges to go all the way around, all right? That's what we bought. So, cost you $2,000 to do a a uh, thousand square, uh, yeah, thousand square feet roof. It's less than thousand square feet. You put your base down, the fiber fiberglass base, and then you put screws down to hold to hold the base paper. So you put plates down like this with three inch screws. See that? So I'm going to put it down. Okay. Are you walking on it? Now we got this roof uh, already based. I went over the stone, the entire roof. It took us about an hour. And now there's many ways to tie into the drain, but this is a plastic PVC drain. You can see that. I'll show you another method how I can tie this, uh, uh, the membrane I'm gonna put on top into this drain or tie it to this drain area, all right? So let me show you how I do this. First of all, I want to remove the stone. You don't want to break the the the, the old built-up tar. You just want to remove the stone. Or there's the old built-up roof. See, see that? You don't want to break that. So I I, I scrape away the the just the stone. Cover the hole so you don't get the stones into your pipe. And that's it. Okay, so. I cut the paper away and I clean around here, but I also clean underneath the paper where the paper is lying. <laughs> then you take some screws and uh, just flatten out the paper so it's on the just like this. All right. So, it's nice and clean now around this drain. And now we're gonna start with the self-stick base. All right, so, after I put the fiberglass base down, fiberglass paper asphalt base, 
that's over the stone. Now I'm putting down a peel and stick, modified peel and stick base down. And uh, um, what I say is peel and stick is it has a plastic base and this is gets tacky when it gets hot, very tacky. So then I, I, I do that over the fiberglass base. And this is what we use. Um, doesn't matter. You can use, you can use any brand. Let me see. This is a Dyna Grip, of adhering fiberglass reinforced SBS base sheet. That's what you want to look for if you do that, okay? You line it up. You remove the the base, the, the plastic. Now really, as simple as that, does this entire roof. And you can do it, it's simple, easy, fast, and it's very inexpensive or cheap compared to other roofing systems because you can do this yourself. My wife, she can pick up a 100 pound roll. That's how I work out every day. <laughs> she works out every day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Oh, she works mopping. out. <laughs> mopping. Mopping every day. Every day. I hate dirty uh, So our house gets mopped every, every day. day. If I see something with nice food in my house. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if I just step in the house with my boot, then I'm in trouble. And uh, what happens is, you can hear... It sticks and the sun is not even shining. Once the sun is shining, you cannot separate these two layers. You can hear it already start sticking, even when it's cold. It's like 65 degrees out here. So you wanna blow the stones off all the time until you get to the final, okay? And uh, this is how you do the base. After you put the base down, look, I got two base down, the paper base, and it's a peel and stick base, okay? Now, I put my drippage down. And this, by the way, you cannot buy it at Home Depot. But Home Depot doesn't have a heavy gauge. This is 32 gauge, very heavy. And uh, best thing to have if you're gonna do drip edges, okay? Uh, this is bronze. Okay, so put it on there. And uh, you put three inch nails. You gotta have three inch nails. You cannot do it with short nails, okay? Three inch nails. If you don't have three inch nails, it's not gonna work. Because you gotta go through it about an inch before you get to any, any uh, wood. So that's it. Come to a corner like this, and you have to cut the drip edge, okay? So the drip edge, you cannot just cut it anyway. You need to do it a certain way. So the corner is gonna be right here that's that's where the corner is going to be see there what i do is i cut a v to that i cut a v out like that and i cut a v out here just like that and then i cut this little kick out also at the bottom right there and then i bend it like that and look at it ah Three inch nails, by the way. That one didn't grab. So, earlier, I cleaned the stone off of the drain here. And then I put it my, my base, two base papers. One is a, a self-stick base and, and this base, okay? So let me show you. This is sticking to the built up roof, you see that, it's sticking. So I got my, the, 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 the paper base that stops here, my uh, peel and stick stops here. So it's nice and flat around it, you see that? It lies flat. So now I'm gonna adhere my cap sheet to this old uh, built up roof. That is a trick I have 
and you cannot torch it. You cannot do it with a, with a torch. You have to do it with tar or what's this called? Karnak 81 or 66. What is this one? 66. 66. Okay. So trowel grate. You have to do it with that. So here's what I do. Uh, when I Before I bring the cap sheet here, I just do this. Right there. This will adhere the cap sheet to the old built-up roof. You don't need to strip that drain. You cap sheet adhere to the built-up roof with a Karnak 66 uh, trowel grate. See that? You take your membrane all the way to underneath the skylight. See there? Tuck it in there. Just like that. See that? Just like that. I'm gonna make sure that this goes around it. And um, let me see where this is. See, that's my circle. See there? So I just cut around it just just like that. Just like that. Very snug. Huh? Just like this. Watch. A bull nose trowel, a round nose trowel. You cannot do it with a pointed trowel. Well, you can, but it's not hot, easy, okay? You want to make your job as easy as possible. You do torching like I do now, you need a 40 pound tank. You see the tank here next to the camera? That's a 40 pound tank. You cannot do it with a 20 pound tank. You run out of gas very fast, okay? You just go straight over that. Watch. Watch. Beautiful. Now, your drain is complete with not much fuzz. Okay, look at it, beautiful. The seam is tight, and then you make, you make sure you squeeze down on the membrane here, so it comes out, it oozes out like that. See there? Has to ooze out a little bit, otherwise you did not get enough tar or it's flat. That's it. That's it, okay? Your drain is complete. And you keep torching. When it comes to a drippage, after you installed your drippage over the base, like we did here, you wanna bring your cap sheet over the drippage, but you cannot torch to it. It will bend, it will warp. So you put your Karnak uh, 66 trowel or 88 you just put that on your drippage like this and that will prevent the heat from bending or warping your your drippage and at the same time it will it's an adhesive look here it says adhesive adhesive it adheres the membrane to the drippage that's what it does it's unbelievable. So that's what you do, and then you take your torch. For those Canadians, look. I'm not scuffing up, no marks. You see it? Nice and flat for the Canadians. I'm walking on it, okay? This 
This is not Suprema. This is Firestone. A much harder product. You come here, you burn the plastic off of the back of the membrane. See the plastic here? Look, I'm burning the plastic off. Just like that. And then it will stick right there. All right? And that's it. That's how you adhere it. Look at it. Beautiful. And that will never leak. I've done this for 40 years. It's not the first time. I want to explain something. It's so nice. You want to cut it? Mm-hmm. I want to cut the roof open. I want to show them something. Interesting. There's no other roof system. There's no other roof system as good as this. Nothing. Nothing comes close to this. Watch. Let me show you. This is torch down. And I put over stone. Okay. So watch. I'm cutting my roof open to show you something. If you are not convinced after this, it doesn't matter if they, anything can walk on here, traffic. Okay. Watch this. So there's the stone. Look how thick this is. This is three eighths. This is, this is, this is like unbelievable. You cannot beat that. That is what makes this roof system so good. Now, air is trapped underneath there and the air will move towards the drippage and moist will get out. That's the ventilation system. It works fantastic. You cannot beat the system. There's no other roofing membrane this thick. Nothing. Nothing comes as, comes close to this. Okay, you can see how thick it is. Look at it. And it's melted together. There's nothing that beats this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right? So, you, th that's why I say, go over your stone and just do it this way. Three layers. And there's nothing here that can come close to it. The reason why I say this is the best system is, it's for people coming up to snow shovel, because they can walk on it, they can shovel it, they can, uh, tree branches can fall off this. You see the tree here? Branches can fall on here. It's not going to poke through the roof, through the membrane. There is nothing that comes close to it. That's why I give, I say it's the best system. Very thick, very tough. Another reason why I like this system is, this is um, um, uh, a peel and stick base. By itself, it will not leak. Well, it can rain tonight, and if I don't have the cap sheet, it will not leak. But, let's assume I torch, and I don't get the seam properly. And I torch, even if I don't get the seam 100%. By sealing this two together, water can get through that seam, but it will not get any further. It will only get stuck there, so it will never leak. So you don't even have to be a good torch down or a good seam, or you make a mistake, it will not leak because there's two membranes fused together. That's why it cannot leak. All right? So here's a chimney uh, crown and or a cap, or whatever you call this, that is a rather small chimney, but you can see how they crack. These cement slabs that's on top of the uh, chimney, they always crack, and they cause leaks into the roof or down the chimney. So the best way to take care of it, very simple, is you use turbo, turbo poly seal. See there? This, this is what I use. And I do it very easy, and it lasts forever. So what you do is you smear this on, Right in the corner there, it's kind of gooey stuff, very gooey. And you, sp you smear that on, so simple. 
you see that and that and you go around like an inch over this edge where the copper or where the transition is and you put the fleece over that corner so it doesn't crack again there that's where it's gonna crack right over the corner like that see that and you cut push it down a little bit so about an inch down and you cut this corner push it down like that and you do the same here push it down like that and then you paint over that and that will never crack again this is the best way to treat it you cannot beat this and then what you do is after about an hour or a day you can come and coat it with silver coating okay now an additional thing you can do is sometimes it cracks right here where the, where the flue pipe is you can see how the ice and is deteriorating that so you probably want to do that as well so what I do is I cover this area right there all right make sure you got some and put the fleece down there just like that right in the corner like that see that and that will protect this chimney for as long as you have your house you never have to do this again look at it and um, I'm done very nice will never crack again it's now protected you see how it looks very nice huh that's it all right another roof by my wife and I we thank you for watching and watch again you can see what the roof looks like it's a torch down roof and it came out very nice flashing is done we did some extra uh, it's turbo poly seal on top of the cap where the roof is clean and it will never leak and the roof slants to this drain and everything is beautiful alrighty it look like in the beginning like uh, the stone no no more no, stone very nice right. very very nice we'll thank see, you see you in the next video the next video bye bye, bye.